everyone and welcome to More to Explore. I'm Miss Natasha and today we are going to construct a tissue paper blossom tree. Okay, in your kit you will find various colors of tissue paper, a paintbrush, blue construction paper, glue, brown paint. What's not in your kit is a cup of warm water and tissues. So go ahead and grab these. Most people have these two things at home and we can get started. Okay, so we are going to paint our tree and you're gonna need your brown paint. You're going to need the blue construction paper to paint on, the warm water, which we might use to clean out the dried up paint, or maybe we wanna do a watercolor effect. And then we are going to clean the brush on the for this tree, I'm going to aim for a cherry blossom tree, Japanese style. So I'm going to start with a pretty thick trunk or at least a slightly thicker trunk than the branches. So remember when you're making your trunk, it needs to be thicker than your branches. That's how people identify it as the trunk of your tree. Then as you create your trunk, you're going to now make your branches, which are going to be a little bit thinner. And then as your branches get longer and grow out, their tips will be even thinner. So think your trunk is the thickest and then the farther the branch, the thinner it is. So try to draw thick to thin. As you're painting thick to thin, you might go, hey, I think I want my trunk or tree, the main portion of my tree, to grow a little taller. Continue making that part thicker. Notice how I've made that thick. So that's what you want to do for the main portion of your tree. You'll start to notice that I've mixed some paint in the water and I've turned it into a watercolor paint, which you can absolutely do. It makes your branches look a little bit softer, so it makes it have more dimension. Here you'll notice there's some lighter branches when you just use the watercolor and that looks like it's in the background. So if you want to make some branches that look like they're in the background, you can. So this is the tree that I'm happy with and now we're going to move on with our tissue paper and put our little blossoms on. Okay, for the blossoms you're going to need your glue, all the tissue paper, and your tree. And you're going to rip a piece of the tissue paper and crumble it. Then you're going to dab it in the glue and put it on a branch of your tree. And you're going to hold it for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now the key is making different types of blossoms. So the bigger your blossom, the more tissue paper you want. So this is a lot, and when we crumple it up, this one will look more like an open flower. So this will be a big flower, 
And you kind of want to put your big flowers near the main portions of your branch. Because those branches have been out a while and they have the big flowers. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and then what we're going to do for the little blossoms, we're going to take a really small piece and we're going to crumple it. And these will be our tiny blossoms before the flower opens. And they go to the tip of the new branches, the little baby branches. So baby blossoms for baby branches, bigger flowers for bigger branches. So that's the best way to make it look realistic, to remember little pieces of tissue paper, little blossoms for little branches, for new branches, and then bigger pieces of tissue paper for bigger flowers for bigger branches. And you want to do a little bit of color in each area. And here's that up close. The glue will eventually dry, so don't worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and make some more blossoms. And you go ahead too. So if you take a closer look, you'll notice I did use the larger flowers on the larger branches. And then as the branches got a little bit smaller and longer, I used medium sized flowers. And then I used the little bitty itty blossoms at the very ends of the branches. So it makes it look a little bit more realistic that way. And now for the next step, I want you to go ahead and add blossoms as if they're blowing in the wind. So you can do them blowing upward as if the wind came and blew it up. You could do it as going downward to the ground. It is entirely up to you. So how do you want the wind to blow your blossoms? Think about that and go ahead and add those blossoms as if blowing in the wind. Okay, so as you can see, I chose to have my blossoms being carried up by the wind, and that is my blossom tree out of tissue paper and paint. So 
So I bet yours looks even more beautiful than mine. And now you can frame it or hang it up. It's up to you. Did you know the famous DC cherry blossom trees, a gift of Japan in 1912, signaled Washington's beginning of spring with an explosion of life and color that surrounds the tidal basin in a sea of pale pink and white blossoms. Washington, D.C. holds an annual cherry blossom festival just like Japan.